something that I wanted to say about celebrating femininity is that as a flamenco dancer, you really own your femininity and you really can embody it in a way that isn't possible in many other dance forms. Uh, some, yes, ballet dancing, East Indian dancing, probably Native American dancing, many forms that I don't know because there's so many forms all over the world that I don't know because I was born into a white patriarchal society. Uh, I'd like to study them more, but you know, there's only so much time. But what I want to say about flamenco and, and being a woman is that you can really be inside it and own it. And it doesn't matter what size or shape or age you are or what race you are, because we all bleed the same color. And we all, I mean, I'm not to, not to say that a man cannot feel his masculinity in flamenco. Absolutely. It's one of the most powerful, virile, egoistic, logical, spatial, rhythmic things that there are in the dance world. Um, but there's something very special about flamenco, the way it celebrates our roundness, our sensuality, our, the wateriness that we have in us and um, our large stature as givers of life in this world. That, thank you. I mean, it's like, if nothing else was said <laughs> during this conversation, I think that that is the most important piece. And I was like looking at your flower as you were talking. It's like, not like, my see, face. No, I'm like, I can see it out of the corner of your eye because, you know, the rose is such a powerful symbol, such an important symbol throughout time and in many cultures of the mystery of the goddess or the feminine, the generative. So many layers. So many layers. It's like the mystery and the power.